I'm not so great at keeping in touch. A lot's happened, you know. You moved to Brooklyn? And Kate and the kids are still here. See it as that fresh start. That... I've handled a lot of malpractice cases. Malpractice? Imagine how difficult this must be for you. Paul, you're no use to anybody, as long as you're living with all this fear and anger. Seeing me last week, did it make you question that decision? I wish I could go back to that moment when I lost him and you were there, Paul. I'm trying to tell you. I just, I can't get the words out of my mouth. Can I write it down? Of course. Nobody's explained it to you? Well, I'll tell you what I know. Your mom and dad are in the process of getting a divorce. No, I'm not. My dad's just not living at home right now. Now I'm just lying in bed, not working, not sleeping, just waiting. If you do want to talk about your job, it will be completely confidential. And I got that in writing. Now, to have a patient die is terrible, but then to have the family sue you is... The truth is I'm just sick of sitting in a chair day after day, listening to people's problems. Oh, God. <laughs> your wife was pregnant at the same time I was, but you thought that I should get an abortion. It's important to both your mom and me that you feel okay about this. I don't want to talk about this anymore. You haven't heard a word that I've said. April. What, did, what did you think, that you just formulated your theory? Young girl, this is me, it's one. I, I don't need your damn permission. Do you have an affair? I mean, you had this anger before these patients even walked into the room. I don't want to go into therapy. This was a mistake. I have to help her. We're not gods, Paul. We can't save anybody. I don't quite know how to say this, but... I need your help.